So guys, welcome. My name is Deborah Harrison. I'm an independent uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Each week I come to you with a project of the week. I call it my Make It Monday. It's just a fun, uh, simple little project to start off your week with a little creativity. So um, before I get into today's project though, I wanna share with you what came in the mail this last week. It is, yay, the holiday catalog. So um, if you do not have a current Stampin' Up! demonstrator who you regularly place your orders with and you would like to get this catalog, go to my blog, click on the Catalogs Request tab, fill out that form, and I will mail you one. That is open to uh, people in the United States, okay? Um, so guys, I am gonna just go ahead and hop into today's project and kind of share some of the events coming up in the next uh, month or so. So let me turn my camera down and we will get started. If you're here, say hello so that I know that you're uh, joining me today. Otherwise, um, just watch the replay. See if my camera is positioned correctly. Hopefully you can see that pretty well. All right. So this is the project that we're gonna make today. And actually it started with um, with my Simply Sweet Stampers team. Um, each month we do a swap and this month we were challenging ourselves to pick a color trio from the uh, Stampin' Up! Color Coach and do our swap based on those colors. So I chose the colors Cinnamon Cider, Early Espresso, and Petal Pink to do my project for the swap. So if any of my team is on here, this is a little sneak peek. You may want to close your eyes so you're not, so you can be surprised later on. But um, I'm going to put a little cookie treat in there for them afterwards to give to them. So. Don't worry so much. As I said, each week I come to you with the measurements and the supplies. So um, I will be providing the information for you on uh, as we go along. But you can always go over, hop over to my blog, print out the project sheet, and you'll have the measurements there. So I want to tell you a little bit about what's coming up, what I have going on event-wise. I have my BOGO sale. If you are not familiar with BOGO, it is where you can buy one and you get so it's a little bit different than your traditional BOGO that you would do it at a, at a like your local store. This one, you actually, you reserve re some of my retired product that you would like to earn free. And to get it free, you would just shop an equal amount in my online store. So you can hop on over to the uh, link that's listed on that uh, project sheet. You can shop. It is a little bit different uh, experience. It is actually more of a shopping style format where you can go shop your items, click out in a cart, and then uh, the instructions are there to, um, to, to uh, follow through and to be able to get your stuff for free. Also too, I have my In Color Club. It is actually, that registration is ending in two days. It is a fun way to get all five of the new In Colors for this year. And I just wanna show you a little bit of the colors because they're so cute and fun. We have the Bumblebee and the Cinnamon Cider, the Just Jade, Magenta Madness, and this really pretty kind of denim look, Misty Moonlight. So those are, you can collect each of the colors. It comes the, each month you would get the products that coordinate with that color. And just, it's a lot of fun mail to receive each month delivered to your mailbox. Also too, this month I have my Nothing's Better Than Home Decor class. It's a really cute magnet board that uh, you can interchange all the cute little pieces using the Nothing's Better Than uh, bundle. All right guys, let's get into our project today. And I'm gonna pull my supplies over. Now it all starts off with a mini pizza box. And what I love is in the Stampin' Up! catalog, we have a lot of pre-made uh, packaging items that makes crafting so much easier and, and a lot of fun. So I am actually using, uh, they come in gold and the white. I'm going to use the white one today just as a basic uh, background. Uh, the hol That would be really pretty, the gold for holiday though. So anyway, that is on page 152 in the U.S. catalog. All right, so I'm going to assemble my pizza box. Now I have already burnished my score lines. 
to make it a little bit easier to assemble. We're going to put that together, snap that in. Okay, so we have our box assembled. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of the early espresso cardstock that measures three and one quarter by three and one quarter, and I'm going to just put that onto the base of my box here. Just put that right on top. And then I'm going to take a piece of petal pink that measures three by three. And we're going to just layer that on top. Now here I use some of the In Color Designer Series paper in the Cinnamon Cider to kind of bring in that last uh, color from the color trio that I'm using. And we're just going to put that on top. All right, so next what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put my sample here just to kind of help me refer to it. I actually, I cut out a really pretty label and this is actually using uh, the Tasteful Labels dies. This is the, this is new in the annual catalog and it has just a really nice selection of um, really nice label dies that uh, offer a variety for different options. So I went ahead and I cut a really big one in the petal pink and I'm going to, before I put that on, is I'm going to stamp on my large oval and we're going to stamp our sentiments. Now I'm using today the Nothing's Better Than stamp set. And I have already um, pre-cut some of the items from the dies. I like to store my dies on a separate magnet sheet. But we're going to use this stamp set to stamp our sentiments today. And the first sentiment, I'm going to use the Early Espresso. And we're going to say, Today's Plan Consume. We're going to put that right at the top, and then at the bottom, I'm going to put, and be awesome. Now guys, if you're watching and you're here, say hello. I'd love to know that you're joining me. If uh, you have friends, family who would be interested in watching the my weekly uh, Make It Monday, just um, share this video with them, and maybe they can join us today or join us another time. And if you do share, let me know that you shared so that I can enter you into a drawing to win today's project. I'll mail that next week. And in fact, before I get off today, I'm going to draw the winner from last week. Okay, so I have already pre-cut the cookies out of the Early Espresso cardstock, and I did it on a sticker sheet to make it easier for me to assemble. So I'm just gonna put my cookies right here that right there. It's kind of moving on me a little bit. There we go. Cool. Awesome. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put this onto my petal pink label that we meant that I've already pre-cut. I'm going to get that lined up. I felt like this layered really nicely. And I'm using my Tombow liquid glue and I like to use that because it kind of gives me a little bit of time to move things around if I don't get it quite right. Now you will notice the little dot above the eye is missing. Guys, every time I cut this out I always lose that little piece so instead what I like to do is I'm just going to embellish that with a champagne rhinestone and give our, uh, give our box a little bit of bling. So for our eye I'm just going to use a little rhinestone there. But I don't have to worry about trying to hunt down that eye. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my label onto my box with some dimensionals. Right there. 
just put it in the center of the box. Now I have just a couple of other items. What I want to do is I want to show you how I created this real pretty petal pink ribbon. Because actually I don't have that color so I created my own. And what I did is I took our Whisper White crinkled seam binding and I grabbed my mat here and I took my petal pink Stampin' Blends. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to color my ribbon to create the color that I want. And that's what's wonderful about the Stampin' Blends is because they are alcohol based. It does, it goes on really wet onto the ribbon to color it, but then because it has the alcohol in it, it will just dry in about 30 seconds. So I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna let that going, I'm gonna let that go and dry while I do the rest of my box here while I do the stamping part. Now to create my little cookie is I took just a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock and my early espresso and we're going to ink it up with the little cookie with the little chocolate chips on it. Now for the inner part, I'm going to take the cinnamon cider ink pad and the solid image. This is what's called two-step stamping where you stamp one time and then you stamp it uh, stamp a layer on top. Now I'm going to tell you, I'm just going to do this off to the side because I want to show you what this looks like. That is awfully dark for me. So I am actually, I'm going to do what's called stamping off. So I've stamped it once and then I'm going to stamp it again to give it a lighter look, more of a cookie, uh, cookie dough look instead of like really dark. So what I would do is I would cut this out with my die cutting machine, but I've already, for the sake of time, I've already cut one out for us. And I'm just gonna add that on real quick with a Stampin' Dimensional. And just put that right there in the corner. And then my ribbon should be done. Now I have, our, I'm just gonna check it. Yes, it looks done. So I'm gonna tie a bow. And just gonna cut that off. Trim it a little bit. And then we're gonna put that on with a glue dot. And then guys, just a couple more steps. I feel like this just needs just a little bit more. So we're gonna add a little bit around the side. So I'm just gonna put my little bow right there to tie in the colors. Okay, so I kind of felt like that's really cute. I could leave it just like that, but I thought, you know, I wanna give a more of a bakery look. So I'm going to add some colors on the side, some little bands. So I've already pre-cut out some 7 8 by 3 and 1 quarter strips of petal pink cardstock that I'm going to put around the edge. Hey, Teresa girl. Hi, how are you? Thanks for joining me. Oh, how I made the box. It's actually the box is a um, pre-made from the Stampin' Up! catalog. It is the mini pizza box that I'm using. So I'm just basically, I took it. It's our, I just assembled the box straight out of the package. Yeah, if you, I think it's on page 152, I think is the uh, where that's at in the catalog, all the packaging items. I like using their pre-made packaging because it just makes the crafting go so much easier. All right, so we're just going to put these petal pink strips all on the edge. Oh, what did I do to the ribbon? Okay, so what I did is I colored it with the Stampin' Blends marker. I just took the Whisper White. It's just basic um, Whisper White ribbon from Stampin' Up! And it's just colored with the Stampin' Blends marker because it is an alcohol-based marker. Once it dries, all that liquid evaporates and then it leaves the dye onto the ribbon. So it's wonderful because with the markers and the white ribbon, you can just really make any color that you want based on the blends that you that you have. So I always um, that's a, a versatile way of using the blends. All right. So what I did to finish off our box is I cut out from the stitched be mine dies. I cut out little strips in the early espresso, and I'm just going to go around the box and finish that up. That. 
Like I said, I like using this liquid glue because it gives me just about a second or two if I need to adjust placement of my pieces. couple more and then our box is done. Now um, if you share this video with anybody please just let me know that you've shared so that I can enter you into the drawing for this week's uh, Facebook live. And as soon as I'm done with this box I'm going to draw for last week's winner. Okay, our box is done. There you go. Like I said, just open it up. I can add some, add a little cookie or a little um, individual snacks, a, a little package of cookies, and that is good to go and a cute little treat to give to somebody. Okay, guys, I know that some of you shared last week, so I want to make sure and I'm going to draw a name from my box today. And if I already have your address, then I'll go ahead and I'll mail it to you. If not, then I will need to contact you for your address. Zelda, I know who you are and I have your address. So girl, you are going to get, I'm gonna mail you last week's project and it will be in the mail later this week. If you, um, I had mentioned earlier when I started the live today that I have the holiday catalog. If you are interested in getting that catalog, hop on over to my blog, click the catalogs request tab to be able to uh, request that catalog. And guys, that is actually it for today's Make It Monday. If you want to stay connected with my events, make sure to sign up for my email newsletter. That link will be in the uh, post here in this video. And guys, I will see you next week. Have a wonderful week. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye guys.